because what I do is uh, it helps me remember things, AKA Janine's team can see what she says and follows through for her. <laughs> anyway, so welcome. I think Bill Doerr is the one that referred you and I. So how can I help you today? Um, I'm just, absolutely, like, you know, I'm just new to this. And he referred me to you to, and said, I've got to get on the coffee chat. I've got to get on oh. coffee with me for, on Fridays. Um, I'm a little bit back from the camera. I just came back from the dentist. So this part of my face is not moving. Okay. Funny, so I'm, I'm We've all been there. We've all been there. Trust me. Uh, the, you actually have a lot of people who totally know where you are right now on this call, but I will not uh, call them out because that's not nice. Uh, but trust me, you are in good company. Just keep putting a tissue to your face. We don't care. It's fine. <laughs> Um, and, we, and also the oxygen the advantage you have, you've never seen you before. So if 80% of your face weren't moving, we wouldn't know the difference because we just assume well, that's who you are. That is true. <laughs> that, that way next week I'll look completely different. So, <laughs> so you, 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 we won't recognize you, I'm sure. It's a way to add variety to, to Friday. <laughs> Precisely. So uh, yeah, so I the reason I ask how can I help you is because I have a very large and engaged network. And so I want to make sure I refer you to people who can help your business. So what is it that your focus is right now? And what did Bill say other than get on Janine's open Friday <laughs> coffee? <laughs> what else did Bill say? <laughs> he just said it's just a lot of fun. And okay. like like you just said, you you have an enormous network, so it would be beneficial for me to learn more about your network. Um, I'm having a difficult time talking. It's a, like I said, you're <laughs> totally in good company. We've all been there. Go for it. Just just sputter uh -oh. them out and put the tissue to your face. We're fine. Okay. Go. Well, hopefully you can understand me. Um, I am Roxy Perigo, as you know, and I'm a national board certified health and wellness coach, a certified personal trainer. I'm everything under the health umbrella. And... Um, I've been doing this for 20 is 29 years this November. So it's something that I absolutely love doing. I've been doing it forever. I stepped away for a number of years to go back to corporate and just, I couldn't stand it and came back. And at that time, that was in 2019, I shifted my focus, did a kind of a pivot, which was right at the right time because it was COVID um, and changed my audience to senior ex-athletes. So people that are 55, 60, 70, 80 years old that want to get back in the game have a little difficulty as we do at this age because we have aches and pains that prevent us from getting back in the game the way that we want to. So I help people reduce their aches and pains to get back into the sports and activities that they really enjoy and be able to stay and maintain those activities and enjoy a vibrant life. Okay. And I do that with all the years of experience that I have. So you'll forgive me. I've um, been an interviewer since 1982. And when people give me their uh, bio, then immediately I have three things I need from you. Number one, I need you to email me <laughs> and I need you to email me because I already have a potential client for you. Um, I'm very much tapped into military personnel and as they age, they have stuff that starts happening. And so I know you said ex-athletes, but these people are, are Marines and army. And I think that they would serve to, it would be helpful. Okay, so let, so definitely send me your stuff uh, through email. Uh, number two, you wanna chat with Mark. Mark is, uh, who's on the call today, Mark Mathis, and you'll hear from him in a moment. You two need to connect because I think the two of you are serving your communities very similarly. And right. then you also want to connect with Pete, who's on the call, Pete Kane, because Pete has golfers and golfers age and then their stroke changes and then they need people. <laughs> Number three, you want to ask Pete, pretty please introduce me to Jeff Borshawa because Jeff Borshawa has a health and wellness community up in Canada and that community is growing into all of North America. We're, the joke is we want to take over NAFTA, but I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so that those are those are the people I'll let you connect with, and then you can get back to me. And um, the next thing I'm going to ask you is, do you have a book? Are you an author? Not really. I'm working okay. on I'm working on a cookbook and a and a squats of how to do squats book. Um, but that's okay. That's right now, uh, the, the reason I ask this is one of the things that I'm trouble. going. <laughs> Rich was bookless when he first met me. <laughs> Not anymore. One of the best things that I can do as a broadcaster in a production company is if you have a book, I can sell you anywhere. See, it, it, you immediately, you're, if you have a book, it, and it doesn't matter if it's 20 pages, it doesn't matter if it's 50 pages. It's just, do you have a book on Amazon? 
And so uh, what Jeff Borshawa and I had do, uh, and Pete was the one that <laughs> Pete has this book. <laughs> Um, I'm an author. I've written 14, now 15 books. I spoke with Jeff, got another book, 15 books. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I have 15 books now. And so what we do is we help cater that book to be a love letter to your clients. They're designed to your customers and they're like a business card on steroids. And so what we're doing with this entrepreneurial conference is we're taking people like yourself and so I'd highly recommend that you definitely join us for that conference if you can, if not just join up so you get the replays or something, but we're gonna to talk to you about how to take that book and then become profitable with it in your business. I mean, that's the whole purpose of this conference. And so if you wanna join us for the summit, I'd love to have you. So that's my pitch for that. And that's free. And I think we have the all access pass is gonna be like 174 or something like that. But anyway, then you get into the members and then you get into my, my network and we can start really cranking your business. I've been an entrepreneur since I was 10 years old when I was selling earthworms to bait shops. So that kind of lets you know, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I didn't know that that was a disease, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the disease I have, right, Joe? So, uh, <laughs> now, um, so those are the people that can help you. Uh, another person that you probably want to chat with is Emily Blank. Emily is on this call, but she is what I call, she's part of my woo-woo side of life. I'm a shaman, a mystic, um, I, I live in Colorado, the purple and white crystal children, you know, this is where we all hang. Land of fruits and nuts is California. We're woo-woo, Colorado. So um, Emily is running a online uh, spiritual retreat called Light the Way, where she has mystics, shamans, mediums, Reiki masters, uh, healers of the energy vibe, like they talk in terms of energy, yada, yada. She's holding that retreat. And so that may be something that you wanna tap into more as collaborative. Her people are just coming into business and because you've been doing this so long, they desperately need mentors. And when you start mentoring people, they start referring people. Just an idea, you and Emily might be very helpful. And okay, Rich. I also have health coaches on my network. Health yeah. coaches, I have three so far, so and, yeah. And they need, they need I give mentoring. I them a platform online to be able to be found by mm -hmm. people that need to find them, so. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's another thing. Yeah. Okay. Fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, those are the people just on the call that I can think of. So uh, that I hope will help you. And then I'm going to move along to Mark so that you can meet all the rest, unless you have a question, Roxy. I don't have a question. Just the point that you made about the military. My Facebook group page is ex, ex athletes and warriors and warriors. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you so much for, and um, I'm actually going to meet with one of the Marines that's part of the group that I'm affiliated with tonight. And so uh, he'll be in touch with you. Okay. So I need your information so that I can give it to him tonight. Okay. Mark. Hi, thanks for joining Hi. us, eh? How's Canada, eh? <laughs> very well, very well from Montreal, Canada, yes. Uh, Janine, I have a message for you. Uh, good day from uh, Ian. I had a, co oh. a beautiful conversation with him yesterday. So My Aussie, hey, good day, yeah. mate. So yeah. He, we talked a little bit about you and what you- That's what, why the headphones were smoking. I got it. it. That's it. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, I had I'm a glad great conversation for the new program that I'm putting in, so it's going to be- uh, Amazing, amazing, amazing. Of course it will be. You, you've got Ian helping you do follow-up. It'll be lovely. Yep, he's wonderful. Yep. So what can we do for you today? Well, the, the, it's just to be present with all you guys today, really, and uh, to just listen to uh, what what you're doing and how you're doing it. And I love your 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 um, summit that you're going to be doing. We've got to talk about it. I'm, I would like to be a sponsor with you. Okay. And uh, right. yeah, and let's let's take a look at it. And uh, for me, it's, it's just about getting my branding out there, getting my name out there uh, about the Reset It program, getting teachers. We've got five teachers on board right now, um, working on to get about 20 by the end of the year. So it's just to get out there and talk about it and be present with the stuff that we're doing. That's all. Uh, and also Mark has a certification program. So if you find somebody who's sick and tired of corporate America and they want to do something that's really making big impact, uh, Mark helps people literally reset their mindsets in 90 seconds. And he is teaching 90 minutes. Uh, 90 90 minutes. minutes. I'm sorry. I'm the 90 second gal. Um, yeah. I'm like, if, I, if it's not done in a minute and a half. Um, anyway, I'm sorry. I do two minute meditations. I'm down to 90 seconds. Okay. So. <laughs> Can you tell I'm in radio? Okay, so what I'd like to do 
with you, Mark, as far as the sponsorship, would you be kind enough to just ask me what questions you have? And I'll be glad to chat with you about them right now. Yeah. The, the, the question is, uh, um, I like the, the, the way that you put it together. Um, there's three sections, there's bronze, there's. Yeah, here you go. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have bronze, silver, and I have here, just get the gold at 2,500. <laughs> <The reason laughs> <Get the> gold. <laughs> just get the gold. Um, the reason I said that is because then I can really strut my stuff with your uh, stuff, with your program. Whatever logo you want me to use, yes, that'll be, you know, with the star sponsor, blah, blah. everybody does that. That's the basics. The big thing that I'm excited about for the gold is I'll have a 500 word description that you will give me, give me your content, we'll work it up. And then I have a, a, a content editor that will put excellent words in it to match what we're doing with our SEO, because we're, uh, we're getting Google ads for this as well. Google ads is running. And so um, then you also get a two minute video recording that we'll put on the open coffee, because that's a very separate list. My open coffee list, you guys are on it. I only blast you about once a week about this is what we said, you know, kind of things. Um, then you get a full page ad. This is where the magazine comes in. Uh, Jeff Borshawa is the one that produces okay. this magazine. You will not only get a full page ad in the summit guide that will go out to every attendee. We're looking to get a thousand people. That's what I'm working on. Um, I can't guarantee that, but I'll, I'll do, you know me, I'm going to work my butt off to get you guys your thousand people. Um, we'll get the full page ad, and then uh, we'll also work up an article based on the guest spot that we do on the Janine Bolin show. So we'll promote you on the 112 platforms and 64 public radio stations. Once we've done the Janine Bolin show and you've, you've booked that with me, we're going to take that content. I love AI. We're going to work it into an article. Then I'm going to run it by my content creator again, and then we're going to create that article for the summit guide. So that's what you get. And then on day three, it's a five-day event. Uh, on day three, the sponsors get a networking event with Jeff Borshawa and myself and uh, any of the other sponsors who show up. And basically that's gonna be, okay, we had, let's say, you know, we had 1200 people. This is how you go about really maximizing and doing follow through with the folks that attended. How can we help you guys? And basically we take really good care of you guys with that, uh, networking uh, event because we only allow the people who did the all access pass to come into that networking event with us. So these are people okay. who are already purchased. So they're not gonna be the free tickets. It's only gonna be the people that have the all access pass. Any questions? Well, um, it's, well it's well done, it's well put together. Let me just uh, send me, can you, can you send me an email, uh, Jenny, on no, it? No. Oh. Uh, like what kind of information do you want on well, it? Just just, uh, just so that I can take it take it beside and have a just take a look at it on my own. Okay, no problem. Sit there and check it out with your higher okay. source. Blah blah blah. Okay. You got it. I can send it. No worries. And Lynette, please remind me. <laughs> to send an email to Mark. Thanks, Lynette. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I said uh, Joe or Emily first. I can't remember what I said earlier. Uh, Joe. Is it your next? I, I, I thought it was Emily. Emily, okay. Oh, yeah. He wants to go last. He's pushing for the last seat. <laughs> Pete, thanks for being with us, dear. I can't wait to talk more to you. Um, okay, so that's Mark. Uh, hi, Emily. Want to talk to us a little bit about the Light the Way retreat? Yeah. Hi, Janine. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy to be here with you. Um, yes, I own a company called Cosmic Connections. I started it last year to to unite like health worker, health coaches, life coaches, mediums all kinds of people that are shamans, psychics, Sh shamans, Reiki masters, psychics, let's, Reiki let's, masters, let's, <laughs> authors. So I basically created a, like online Amazon, Amazon for spiritual and wellness people. They have their own stores um, on my website, but we're actually going to host a retreat together. So we're, we have um, 12 people speaking over the weekend, August 5th and 6th, um, this August 5th and 6th. Yeah. Janine is going to be a speaker yeah. as well. And I'm so blessed to have her. Um, so it's only $44 for the whole weekend and you're going to get energy healings and you're going to get, you get psych. We're going to be giving readings to the audience. We're going to be giving energy healings, um, all kinds of stuff all weekend long. And it's just going to be a really fun way to reset your energy, um, receive source light, and just kind of kill yourself in your own space. It's virtual. So you're at home, which I think is really important because people go away a lot to retreat. They go away to leave their home and go for the weekend and they come back to their home and they have the same energy there that they left. 
behind. So it's great to be able to heal yourself in your home and relax yourself when you're in your home, because then you can create that energy in your own space and it can stay with you. So I think that's a great benefit, but yeah, I'm really open to anyone that wants to join our network. I'm looking for more people to join our network. I'm trying to find the best and brightest people across America. And we have about 20 people so far that have joined and um, it's free to join. So, mm -hmm. and to be a part of our community. So, and so they have here. affiliate and they do affiliate links. So you also yeah, make a we do. cash on the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll yep. promote you, um, mm -hmm. we'll help you. We just want people to be able to find people that are trusted. So a, the market's really flooded right now. And I've been seeing a lot of um, people getting scammed by, you know, different practitioners and having to spend $10,000 or whatever, you know, all this, like, you know, all this money. And um, I think it should be affordable for people to have spiritual care. And, you know, we have some psychologists, we have all kinds of people, health coaches, yoga, Pilates people. We also have an academy where you can teach your classes. We have a platform for that as well, an online platform we created. Um, so we're just trying to help people find you. And your business, so, and your work. So, so I'm, I'm just going to chime in here on Emily. Uh, so I test drove the system. Okay, I don't I don't let people come on here and talk to my people unless I've test driven the system. And so I went on there and I have 91 online courses, of which five have to do with metaphysics, metaphysics and that sort of thing. And so I said, okay, I'll, I'll post them on there. And sure enough, her store works. Everything like clicks through. And I can't believe that she does pretty much all of this for free. And they just ask for I can't even remember the percentage. But if you know of somebody, I Many of you are already really established in your businesses, but when you meet those sweet people of yours who are like, I'm just starting, I don't know, Emily is like mother goose. She just kind of wraps her, her wings around them and said, it's okay, baby, we'll get, especially for those people who have never been entrepreneurs before, Emily has a beautiful Amazon-like store that can get them up and running on products and services and then help coach them through. So I just wanted to let you know, that's kind of where yeah. I feel Thank that Emily- you. Is yeah, we also served. have several established people too. I mean, it's yeah. not just you, it's yeah. also people that I've been doing a long time. They just want another stream of revenue, another mm -hmm. way to get marketed, to get yep. out there. So it's just, or they don't know technology, they don't do the technology part as well with the online store and the products because we create downloadable products. We can create all kinds of cool stuff on there. So it's just really fun. It's a yep. fun community of positive, loving people. We're going to light the way and try to try to help everyone to shine their light and unleash their light and unlock their light and unleash it onto their life. So that's our, that's our mission. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you. Thank for you so, me. Oh, no problem. And with open Friday coffee, you guys can come when you want, you can leave when you have to. Okay. I, you don't have to stay locked into it. You're welcome to stay, but you don't have to stay here if you guys have someplace else to go. Cause I know you're a busy business owner. So, all right, Joe, you were like, all right, I want to Emily first. So Hi, Joe. Great to see you. Um, Joe has allowed me to be on his hot seat. So do you mind talking a little bit about this neat thing that you do with people like me? Okay, fair enough. I'll give the backstory first, and then I'll come into that. I don't claim that I see dead people, but I will discover things about you not yet perceived that gives you a distinct advantage in your over your market uh, competition. And I call that your secret sauce. I see things, I connect the dots well, and through dialogue, through engagement, I would discover aspects about you that will give you unique value over your business that somebody can't say, oh yeah, I do that too, come to me instead. That being said, I realized it's when I became a, a victim of my own statement. I see people talk about what they do, not who they are. And I found myself talking about my secret sauce. So I had to stick my neck out. And what I do now to walk the talk, I might say, what I do now is I do a 30 minute hot, uh, podcast and the challenge title is, are you prepared to take the hot seat challenge to discover an ingredient of your secret sauce? So in the first 20 minutes, I ask you, what's your favorite pastime? And through asking questions, not scripted, I will then go into the last two minutes and show how you, your persona, your karma, provide you a value in your industry that nobody else can lay claim to. And so Janine has been up to it. I'll say that way beyond up to it. I'm going to digress a little bit. You asked Janine at the beginning of this program, what is it you're looking for? Why did you come to this meeting? And I first said opportunity, but then I embellished that by saying expanded opportunity. The more I hear this lady, the more amazing she becomes to me. But let me get back on track. <laughs> so 
that's what I'm doing now. And Janine is going to be a guest. And so far, I've been batting a thousand. I shouldn't sound too surprised by that, but <laughs> there'll be a glitch in there someplace. So anybody that may have interest to learn more about what I'm doing, minimally, I'll send you at least a playlist of what I've done so far. If you have further interest, please feel free to reach out. Rich a buyer, you'll be my, I'll be in touch with you later today because he's also volunteered to be in my secret or my hot seat challenge thing. Let me say this differently. It's not you taking a challenge in all fairness because I'll walk you through the process. It's really myself that's taking the challenge because if I don't produce, I can't walk the talk. I don't have a business. So uh, that's the flavor. The push is really on me to make it work for you. Wonderful. Thank you. And Emily, if you would put hyperlinks in the chat, otherwise people can't click on it and go. So if you make that a hyperlink, then that's no problem. And then Joe, back to you. If you want folks to challenge you on your podcast, if you would put the hyperlink down so that they can connect with you on that. And yeah, no, uh, do, you. You char do you charge for this uh, yes, service? I, I, I charge 30 minutes of your time. Yeah, he charges 30 minutes of his time. I didn't want to start using the free word. That's why you do notice. I was like, mm, yeah, do you right. charge for those? Yeah, the algorithms and the internet system, they don't like the word free. They don't like no. other words also. No. So, so, no, so there's no fee on this one. It's, uh, it's my yeah. pleasure, my my skill, and your benefit. And we share all oh, we share a mutual media uh, social network. So it's an exposure in addition to the uh, the engagement itself. Okay. Wonderful. And if you have any authors in your network, I would love it if you would refer them to our conference, please. Mm -hmm. I would absolutely love that. Okay. And then, uh, Pete, hi, it has been too long. And my dear friend, you be on mute. You know, thank you for letting me use my card. Thank you for telling me. I was like, I said a couple of things and it was quiet. So I should have looked at the mute button, but thank you for that. I love it. <laughs> So, uh, and thank you for the beautiful card. Uh, and I'm looking for it. I don't know where I put it, but but I'm oh. Golf Pete. And so golfrepeat.com, it's, it's people that want to improve mindset, skill set, and physical set. So I have a conference, a summit actually coming up. I have a podcast and then we take the best of our podcasts and we put them on, or an opportunity to put them on our summit. So uh, August the 7th, from eight in the morning till 12, you're going to see if you're a golfer, you want to be there. If you're a person that sells golf equipment, you want to be a speaker or be <laughs> there because we network the speakers. It's the most incredible thing. And like Janine just said, Jeff Borshaw, right here, book. You got to get a book. <laughs> you got to get a book that is a love story to your ideal client because if you do that, Business is so easy, it's actually kind of guilty. I feel guilty it's so easy. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Mm -hmm. So, And then the magazine, if I can give my plug, because uh, I know, Janine, you know uh, Shailene. Yes, so, Shailene's lovely. Yeah, this magazine, and for the seniors, I, I'm thinking, who was it? Roxanne. Oh, my gosh. So I wasn't going to do anything with wellness seniors, but I was so mad at people abusing seniors, vendors, and others. We have a publication for just this, but just this area, just the local, but it's catering to seniors, all the great power that's out there. And they need the they need power in a way that'll help them be not marginalized. So uh golfers, I'm just reaching out to golfers. So if you know of golfers that Make money off golfing. That's that's people that that we love to help in our community because it's all golf. Yeah, Pete, yeah. where are you now? Are you in Georgia now? In Atlanta. Yes. You're in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, because I knew you had to move your offices. So he's down yes. in Atlanta now, yes. and uh, so his offices have moved down there. And so um, one of the things that I love is no matter whether you live or die, if you're in the South, you must fly through Atlanta. So Pete yes. is available. Absolutely. <laughs> he will make I'm sure you Atlanta. have a cup I'm, of coffee. And my average age in my facility is 77. So I'm around some people with gray hair. <laughs> Just one or two. <laughs> so Thank you, wonderful hey me no here. problem pete was one of the very first people to start taking my trainings when i started doing the send out cards and 
uh, he was having, uh, he has great success with his follow-up systems and stuff like that. So if you're struggling and you're trying to figure out what kind of systems to use, you can take uh, either one of my courses or talk to Pete Kane. He'll be glad to talk to you about how he sets up systems, but uh, okay, his- Take your course. <laughs> well, you're thank you, you're, you're sweet. But- <laughs> Don't do anything with me. I just apply the system. I've, but- I've done over 10 years, about 5,000 greeting cards. It's the best follow-up system in the world mm-hmm. yeah. for building relationships. And, and Peter, right. I just wanted to let you know, Mark on the call, he he uh, he signed up with Send Out Cards with Ian Kingwell. So that was kind of neat to, awesome. to have all that happening. Best, best decision ever there, Mark. Yes. Yeah, it's very good. Best best marketing dollars I spend uh, after Google ads. Google first, but then send out cards second. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. And last but not least, and of course I do this because he's my favorite Hebrew hottie, it is Rich Byer. <laughs> you knew I had to do something silly with you. <laughs> oh, man. Hebrew hottie. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's a that's a lot to live into, though. <laughs> it's a lot to move into. <laughs> Let's try to lean on that, shall yeah, we? What do you think? I wake up in this. I mean, really. It's, <laughs> so, um, first of all, so so Pete, Pete th- th- that you're in Georgia, that t- explains why you talk funny. Okay. Good. <laughs> um, and Roxanne, I, Roxy, I love what you're up to. By the way, my first career was that as a fitness professional, and um, we could talk ad nauseum about that. And um, you know, it's, um, uh, yeah. Let me introduce Rich. Um, Rich is in New York City. <laughs> That's why I and, funny. And, uh, and he likes to say, uh, you have this way you introduce your parents and your heritage. What, that I'm only Jewish on my parents' side? There you go. And, and so being raised Catholic, he being raised Jewish, we have a lot of fun talking back and forth to each other a little and every once in a while I have to go oh by the way everybody we're friends because some people you can see the eyeballs get about this big on zoom and you're like oh they don't know we're, we know each other we're part of um, a group called winning on Wednesdays that Juan Vitas occasionally comes in and uh, anyway he uh, Rich does a lot of fabulous branding design and so anytime I get ready to pivot and I need some new branding. I always go to Rich and, ha- and say, this is what I've put together. What do you recommend? And uh, I pay him for his time because I'm like, this is this is what I'm doing. Help me out, dude. And I need a pro to look at what Janine slaps on a wall and see if there's something better that we can do with that. And the answer is always like, you know, if you let me have this for about a minute, we can do that, right? So anywho. Um, what else do you want to share with us, Rich? Because you always give us like a one minute branding tip. Yeah, sure. Um, I'll get to that in one second, but I want okay. to just touch on that. I'm in the book process with Jeff. Jeff, it was mentioned earlier. Um, and I'm so I'm editing the first draft that I got back from him. So um, this has been an incredible process, you know, and, and I am pining over every word. I'm parsing everything that's, you know, because it's going to have my name on it. You know, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it, loving it. I never ever thought I'd have my own book, and um, so I'm 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 on route. Um, branding tip, real quickly. First of all, the way I define branding, it's the thousands of touch points that your company has with the world, even including the way the phones are answered. Okay, so that being said, do you have what is your brand story? And when I talk about a brand story, I'm talking about it's the way your business is perceived by your customers and your potential customers. So are you driving that narrative or are you letting them create their own version of what your business is about? And we can talk more about that if you have any questions. And you have a Calendly link, right? Or something? You know, I don't. Okay. I, 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 I don't. No, no, no. You can contact me, and I have my. I just posted my contact information in the chat. Okay, contact as long as we'll, that works, however yeah, yeah, yeah. it works. Yeah, whatever. Every business owner has to do it according to their own lifestyle. I, and I did so. the Calendly thing, and all of a sudden, I was like overwhelmed with. And I know you can block out stuff, but I don't know what time I'm available next Thursday. I, <laughs> you know, just yeah. I love my creatives. They always have those those stories. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> I do. They're like. 
I, I don't even know what I had for lunch yesterday, let alone what I'm going to be doing next Thursday. So that's fine. I um, never have that problem because I have the same thing every day. <laughs> you and Hayao Miyazaki has the same thing every day. Yep. That's awesome. All right. So anything that we can do for anybody? Does anyone have any needs? Do you have any questions? What can we do to help you guys move forward with your business? I'd like to no. share an observation. Mm -hmm. uh, the different groups have different karma or different personalities that I've found, be it virtual, be it physical. And this is my first time here. I've uh, Janine and, and others in the group share the WOW group also. And we had, I think, one prior dialogue. And it wasn't good, it wasn't bad. It was kind of a neutral thing. You get it from the, the table at a dime, you say, eh, at least got food in my stomach. Maybe that was my perception, perception. But when I spoke with her yesterday, this lady has a lot of substance. And the more I get to know of her, the more I'm impressed. Now to put in context, they say you get a sense of a person by who they tend to associate with. And it's a two-way street. And I'm, I'm impressed with this group, even though it's a first contact for me. And uh, to, be, to be blunt, my first time around on this, that I'm amazed it's not even larger. And it, it hit me, I made a note to myself that many people join groups because all they want to do is sell. They want to push their product. It was something that Janina said to me uh, yesterday also about a, a prior guest. This is about building value relationships to build value business. And not everybody, very few people fall in that category. So I want to thank you, Janine, for hosting this group. I certainly would love to be a continual part of it. And you mentioned uh, to be a weekly whatever thing. I don't good, I'm not good on words sometimes. I'd love to be a part. Of, I don't I'm not good on words, but I want to be a part of your dialogue. <laughs> How's that for an oxymoronic statement? <laughs> but anyway, that's where I am on this. And that's my 30 seconds of uh, your time. Thank you very much, Joe. Um, what I've put in the chat is I have a lot of people that um, would sign up and then wouldn't show up. And so I just made it to where you have to sign up for every Friday. That way uh, people actually do show up. The reason that we don't have more is because when people found out that it's come when you can, leave when you have to, they'd come, they'd pitch, they'd leave. And now I'm down to people who wanna be here to move their business forward. And I'd much rather have a group like this than any other kind. And so what I recommend for everybody that is on here, please keep us in mind, you're always welcome to open Friday coffee whenever, you're, whenever your lifestyle allows. You're a business owner, you're after a lifestyle. We're out. The people I attract are the ones that want to make a living, not a killing. So if people are after to make a killing and they're after that $3 million, you know, a quarter, blah, 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 I'm not their people. I'm the people that is like, no, I got into this because I, I'm downshifting. I'm moving away from corporate. I want to live life. And I want, this is what I say. I want to suck the marrow out of the bones of life until there's nothing left. And then I'm going to gnaw on those bones. Like I came to this life to live and my business, I fit into the cracks of my life. So I'm not going to be able to have systems and processes that look like somebody who's making $3 million a quarter. Okay. And so those are the people I seem to attract. And so uh, that's why I love reaching out then to, um, hang on just a second. Those are the people I reach out to. And here comes the other, just a second, wait till he gets on. Sure. I, I, Hello, I, 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 here's the other Hebrew hottie. Hello, Matt Roseman. <laughs> I was waiting for you because I wanted to have the two of you on. So Bridge just finished his one minute his one minute uh, branding tip. And I was hopeful that we would have the one minute tech tip today. And, Hang on, and Joe. Matt, did you get that? Did you get that, Matt? The other <laughs> Okay, Matt is also a part of WOW. Just so you know, we've known each other for three years. <laughs> oh yes, I am on mute. So yes, I'm gonna bring up my card too. Are you so. right? If you, yes. want, if you want one of these cards, all you have to do is, Lynette, would you put up the link so that people can get an on your unmute card? It's courtesy. Don't worry. I'm not going to, you're I not putting into in the kind of funnel. I didn't realize I had competition here with, with Rich. So, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, uh, Matt's in Florida. All right. Yes. <laughs>
Yes. How's the sweltering heat, my friend? All, all I could say is I'm yes. torture testing my deodorant. So <laughs> torture testing. Oh, by the way, if you're an author like I am, I find Matt hysterical because he loves alliteration more than I do. And that is saying something. And so, you know, anytime he gives me emails or stuff, it's like all the same letter and all that kind of stuff. I get more, ooh, I got to put that in my word bank. Uh, authors have word banks where, you know, yeah. if you see stuff that you like, as a, uh, Matt, he'll just keep talking. And then I'm like, oh, that's got to go in my word bank. <laughs> I love the way you put that together. All right. Torture testing your deodorant. What's going on? Do you... <laughs> I love it. Machine Marauder. Okay. Why not? One minute. Yeah. One, okay. one, one minute tech tip. Here we go. <laughs> and plus I'll, I'll, I'll throw out the, uh, the joke of the week too. So interesting things. Guess what's coming people. You, you know, you have batteries that have lithium ion. Well, guess what's coming as well down the line. Apparently they make batteries out of sugar. So get ready for Duracell diabetes. So that is, that is coming now down the pike apparently. The other thing that's also really interesting, don't ask me where I come up with this shit, I just do. So um, anyway, uh, the other thing that's coming, the other thing that's coming is- I love it when, when comedians laugh at their own jokes. That's the other yeah. thing I love. Go ahead, Matt, sorry. I, I, I did already. So um, <laughs> the other thing that's coming is we all know we use wireless and we all have radio waves for wireless. For example, like 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz. Well, guess what's coming? Light. So apparently they're gonna be using light to transfer wireless. The problem is, is that if there's a cloud in the sky, you get in front of it, it'll probably cut off your wireless signal. So that's that's the other thing that's coming. And supposedly there's a new standard for the EV charging based on Tesla that will be introduced in 2025. And the last interesting thing I will leave you, uh, I will leave you with is the joke of the week. Um, I knew a guy who collected candy canes. They were all in mint condition. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I, you I very did, much. I did, boom, I boom, boom. I will post my information in, <laughs> I'll post my information in the chat. If you guys are having any more uh technical, you know, drama than the Hollywood strike, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help and assist. So thanks for having me on, Janine. No problem. Matt takes care of my Macintosh. He, he keeps my Mac up and running. And with as much video, audio, and processing power that I need and do, he's the guy that I go to. So uh, everybody that I introduce you guys to here that <laughs> talks and does their stuff, there are people whose services and products I've used and are trustworthy. They will not take you for a ride. You won't pay them the $2,500 and never see them again. Yes, this has happened. <laughs> so anyhow. Um, Matt, thank you so much. You got it all there? Okay, good. Wonderful. All right. So, Joe, you were trying to speak and Matt came on and I interrupted you because I never know how long we have with Matt. Uh, please continue but what you were saying. We requested Matt first. Please send the information, but if you could leave out that joke from the <laughs> list, I would appreciate that. <laughs> thank you I, for the information I, I like creative minds and i agree with you janine i like to see people who love to share humor uh laughing at their own humor because it, it's the true appreciation as opposed to simply kicking it out there mm -hmm. um i forgot what's going to say other than that it's more than three minutes past in my life <laughs> I, well, I, let, I, let, let me say this you may forget somebody's face you may forget somebody's name but you won't forget how they treated you more importantly, how they made you feel. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. And so sure. one of those things I want to make sure that we take care of you is that, uh, is there, I'm going to say the same question again. Is there anything you folks need? We all need clients. Okay. I know that. But is there anything that you need as a human being on planet earth? We have a brain trust in front of us of nine amazing people we all come from different areas. And so I wanna use this brain trust that we have over the next few minutes, we got 15 minutes. Uh, is there any challenge that you have that you know one of us may have already solved? Is there something that you have going on in your life that you would really appreciate a little assistance on and feel free to you know, ask, how can we help you? Because there's nine of us on this call. Go ahead, Pete. So I'm having grandkids challenges. Is there any creative way a granddad can see his grandkids? Any creative way? Okay, so question, question. 
Are you oh. legally barred from being anywhere near them? So, okay, no. just want, I just wanted to, just, <laughs> let's get the just, basics out of the um, way right. first. Number one, legally, yeah. are yeah. you allowed and to be near important. them? That's important. That is important. Yeah. Okay. It's just when your daughter is a codependent and marries a narcissist, the control factor comes in. So, just creative ways. I know I don't have any leverage, but I have love. Right. Right. Um, well, you have sent out cards. Are you able to mail cards to them? I do. Okay. So you do that first. That's number one. Uh, the, the next thing is, is you, you make sure that you put letters to your grandchildren and you always slip in five bucks and that way the narcissist will and take did, it, but the kids get the letter. That, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just looking for some creative way. That is a creative way. I got no doubt. Brownies tend to go over pretty well with kids. Um, Excellent. Question for you, Pete. Are you able to virtually see them? Like, for example, through like video conferencing? I was. Mm. I was able to FaceTime, but it got a little controlling. So, yeah, uh, not currently in the last two months. Okay. But I'm creatively coming up with anything, and I'm open for any suggestions. Mm -hmm. I'll cut this out of the, uh, before I put it up on YouTube, I'll cut this section out since this is kind of uh, personal and private, but I highly recommend that you no, chat with okay. Ed. No, you, no, we really <laughs> don't. Okay. Me. But I highly I, recommend. I haven't, on, I haven't been on social in 10 months, but I think I'm going to change. Okay. Uh, Emily. Uh, I'm, already some, do, I'm already working on it. Yeah. I know. <laughs> energy work on this. I can feel a lot of this energy. So I'm going to do some clearing for you, for your family, okay. um, so we can clear the communication. So I feel like your daughter really wants you to be a part of their life. Um, oh, but absolutely. But her husband's threatened, threatened by you. Um, yes. But I also feel like they might need a vacation, the two of them. They work hard. Your daughter and son-in-law work really hard. So maybe offering them a vacation and you take the kids, something, maybe that can work up to that. But I feel like they need yeah, to get work away. up to it for sure. So maybe like something like babysitting, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to do some energy work on this for sure for you because yeah, there's so much love, love there. Me, really. It's almost like choking yeah. me up. I can feel it. Um, there's just so much love there that there's just, we got to clear this pathway for you to be able to connect in. And I really feel like it's healing your relationship with your son-in-law, you know, and really oh, yeah. he needs yes, you to I kind agree. of like, I don't know the right word, like stroke his ego a little bit <laughs> he likes that you know that'll make him feel I know it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt to do it yeah. but just like you know I'm you know I'm really thankful for how you take care of my daughter and her children and you know just kind of really kind of kissing up to him a little bit just to kind of clear that that mm -hmm. that block you know because mm -hmm. he's you. very threatened by you but so you want to come in as non-threatening, like, I appreciate everything. You're such a great provider for your family. You just kind of, you know, paving the way for open to open that energy. Is that, so. is that the same as crush him with kindness? Is that the same? Yes. Crush him with kindness. Crush him with kindness. That's a great, great thing. Yeah. Because he yeah. just, he, yeah, he has issues with his own dad too. Hmm. As problems it's, it's, with masculine male uh, authority figures, and he kind of sees you as that, but you're very non threatening. So just become, just stay non threatening towards him because he doesn't want, he's very insecure. Anyway, I don't want to take the whole time giving you a reading. Yeah. Okay, so Emily, Emily, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> Pete, if you want a reading with Emily, she has that. So, Emily, if you'll put your link Thank in, you there you, you go. Love. I can feel all your love, Thank and you. it will work out. It will work out. Yeah. Thank you. All right, we still have 12 minutes, folks. Anybody else have a question? Yeah, like I said, Emily, we have a, Emily didn't know Pete before this? No. No, Emily is very gifted as a medium and that. psychic. And she used to hang that. out my house with the with the rest of the Crow Lodge and yeah, all that good stuff. So that was before she moved to the Carolinas. Mm -hmm. Now she's not in Colorado anymore. Uh, anybody else have any questions or uh, have something we can bring up? Go ahead, Joe. Well, I want to show an observation. Certainly what the Christian race. Uh, by P is outside my area of expertise. I won't dabble in that directly, but I do agree with Emily uh, conceptually. The, the art form is to give the, the 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 father what works for him that doesn't compromise you, that doesn't come across as being salesy. Now that's a lot because he's sometimes he's distressful from what I've heard from Emily. 
and may suspect anything you tend to offer. Perhaps your daughter has some things that he likes. Uh, just, hey, by the way, you like collecting cars. I saw this, whatever. I thought I'd zing it by you. Uh, allow him to see a side of you that works in his favor. Um, that is maybe low key, as Janine has said. Uh, and I'll stop because that's as far as I can go with it conceptually. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate go, that. Go ahead, Roxy. I was thinking of the Facebook portal. I don't know if you've heard of that one, but I don't know if that's a good situation with what you're what you're talking about. But it's um it's a portal. It's it goes on top of your TV, and it's just like being there. Um, it's it's very strange. It's just like being in the same room with them, but it it shows them in real time, just like Zoom, except you have the whole entire room that they're in and that you're in, and depending on where the portal's located with the with the camera that gives you the perception of where they're at. The strange thing is, is it follows you as you move. So the camera stays on the person who's moving. So it that, it makes it fun with grandkids. Okay. Thank you, appreciate that. Mm -hmm. But you both have to have the portal. Yeah. So I don't know if that would work. Mm -hmm. Ideas, like he said, cre creative ideas. We've got, we've got plenty of creativity in this headspace right now. Scotch never mm -hmm. fails. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Scotch never fails. <laughs> I was thinking about shaving my head because I was looking, I think, is it Mark, Matt, Mark? Yeah. Mark, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that because I've tried a lot of things, but I haven't tried that. So if I show up bald one time, you say, just say you, I've been trying new things. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's that's what, what I'm saying as well, Pete. I think everything starts with you first. I think the... Yeah. The things you've got to reset with yourself first. When you're so well with yourself first, your grandchildren will be there for you. Mm -hmm. it's, Thank you. It's really about you. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. Another, another observation, if I can, if I can, uh, and Janine has said this a few times, and I, this is, I like this group, First Contact, because it is a matter of people who have knowledge, experience, expertise, and are willing to share Rephrase that. Not so much. We need to share, not be embarrassed to share. A lot of groups I belong to, people were afraid to speak up because they're afraid they'll sound silly, they'll sound stupid. Nobody seems to care about that. <laughs> you have a feeling and an opinion, <laughs> and you're going to share it. And I like that. So that's another interlude on my part. Um, the biggest thing that all of us are like, because I know all of you except Roxy, I'd like to get to know you better. But uh, is the fact that um, all of us got into business for very specific reasons, but all of us have the desire to increase the kindness level of the communities around us. Mm -hmm. uh, we see meanies, we see people who are real bullies, we see people who are needlessly harsh and crass, and we're like, there's really no need for that. And so one of the things I love about this group is the fact that uh, it's civil. You know, everybody's very civil with each other. I have watched Zoom meetings go down in flames. <laughs> <laughs> I have not returned to those networking groups, but I think a lot of it comes from uh, we're here to, for a specific lifestyle and to make a living. And so as we assist each other, we just know intuitively that somebody's going to be there to help us as well. Um, anyhow, so we have about uh, seven minutes before we uh, kick off for today. Does anybody else have something they want to bring up that is uh, in their world. <laughs> and I start the Jeopardy theme and I would, but I don't want to have to pay royalties. Yeah, if you got to hear elevator music, maybe I'll think of something more to say. <laughs> yeah. So I know that you guys are human beings walking on planet Earth. And so um, I'll go ahead and uh, Lynette, if you're able to, do you mind taking your video off just so you can wave at everybody before you go back on? Um, cause Lynette, uh, has speaking of grandchildren. Hi, Lynette takes care of grandchildren. So there's Lynette. Thank you so much. And I did that because she put makeup on, has her hair done everything. And I'm like, dude, you have got to be on camera today. She is my right hand for open Friday coffee. So thank you for all you do, Lynette. I appreciate you. <laughs> and, uh, and then you'll see her, her grandchild that she'll put up in her life every once in a while, because Mima is busy doing something else and she wants to be played with. So thank you for helping us out. Um, so lastly, uh, all of you, I just wanted to, to leave you 
with a, a thought, uh, some people call it a blessing, uh, is whatever you want. First of all, I want to say thank you for taking an hour out of your day to share a Friday with me. I look forward to these Open Friday coffees so much because there are so many people who want to spend an hour of my time, and I I just don't have that much time. I wouldn't have had time to, to see each of you individually. And so thank you for putting up with this format that I've been forced to use due to the success of my business. And I want to say thank you for that. The success I've had in my business, I've had an increase of over $165,000 this year in my business. And I wanted to share that with you because you hear a lot of things. And some people are like, I don't even roll out of bed if for, for $300 or you know, stuff like that. But I built my business starting with $47 programs and $300 programs. I'm up to $2,500 programs. It was a very slow grind. It was a grind that took eight years before I got to this level of success. And so that's one of the things that I wanted to share with you. Keep grinding. If you're not there yet, keep grinding. Uh, and and that compound effect does happen. It not only happens in money, but it also happens with intellectual property. It also happens with being an entrepreneur. And for some people, uh, like if you're Chris Cardell, who's been spamming the internet as a Google partner with um, how you too can get on Google ads and only spend $7,500 a month, with his company, and he too will make sure that you are seen on all seven platforms. Mm-hmm. Um, not all of us have that kind of bandwidth or financial uh, acumen, but realize what is the lifestyle that you want. I really want you to focus on what is your lifestyle and then fit your business into those cracks, and you will be able to achieve what it is you want to achieve. And it's really hard to relax when you have bills sitting on your desk. And you're looking at the cash flow and it's not quite happening the way you wanted. I know that. But sometimes the best thing for you to do is to go into another room and pet your cat until you feel inspired to do something else or go for a walk in the mountains. Now, most of you know this. You wouldn't be entrepreneurs if you didn't already know this information. My job is to remind you of what you already know. That's my job. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) You already carry this, this wisdom. Okay. But sometimes we forget it because we get so wrapped up, or am I the only one in the day-to-day routine of running a a business that we forget? So I wanted to send you off with that, as well as a a blessing of make sure to reach out to each other. We're getting ready to shut the room down. So please save your chat, click on the three dots, save the chat, or click on the links that you want to have. Take a few minutes to do that. Oh, thank you, Lynette. I love you, lady. (laughs) I didn't even have to type that. I'm used to having to do that and all that. And then um, did anybody want to wrap this up with a final word on anything, Mark? Yeah, let's go with Mark. Let's go with Mark. Let's go with Mark because Mark's the man of the now. Well, the only thing that I would say is whatever you're doing, be present doing it. Mm-hmm. Very Stay simple. in that. Yep. Keep it simple. Yeah. Nothing Keep it simple. Kisses. All right, everybody. Kisses. Thank you for being here. We'll be in touch. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thanks.